and welcome to everybody on cloud fitness. So in today's video, we are going to solve another SQL problem from the lead code. I will leave the link in the description box for you to check it out. So today's problem will actually be an exchange seat problem. So let's go to the portal and see how uh, does this problem looks like. I have already read this problem. Now I will walk you through, uh, you know, what the question is actually. So if you look at the sample input and the output, essentially what it is talking about is that uh, in input, you will be given a seat table, right? Now in the seat table, there is an ID column and there's a student column. Now this ID is basically a primary key for this table. Now what you need to do is you always need to, you need to exchange the seat of the student. So for example, one and two will exchange their seats, right? So right now, if you see in the input table, one is basically a bot, right? Now two is Doris. Now basically you need to exchange the seat of these two people because the ID one will now be Doris and ID two will now be a bot. Now similarly for three and four, uh, you again need to exchange the seat. Now, uh, right now, if you see four is green and three is Emerson. Now you need to exchange these seats again. Now three will be green in the output and four will be Emerson. Now what about the last uh, remaining ID? Now, since it is, uh, you know, you have total number of IDs is actually odd. Now, in that case, you do not need to touch the last ID. You only need to exchange the IDs from top to bottom till the time they are even. Now, the moment you get, you know, the total as a odd number, in that case, the last uh, ID, you do not need to exchange with any anything. You just need to keep it as it is. So, this is, the pro uh, this is basically the problem. Now, I request you all to basically... Uh, you know pause this video think over what can be the possible solution for this write in the comment section and then uh, you know then proceed with this video basically here for me uh, the moment i look at this question uh, the first approach that comes to my mind is again a case statement right because if you look at the ids here the ids will always be consecutive it is mentioned in the question and uh, you know the id column is a primary key right now here um, you know if you look at this ids always you have to exchange an odd id with a even id odd id with the even id so here basically using a case statement i can do something like this if id modulus 2 right if id is divisible by 2 then uh, you know in that case the id for that student will become id minus 1 right so for example id modulus 2 for doris right doris id is 2 now if i divide 2 by 2 the output is 0 now in that case i will say doris id will become id minus 1 so this is my first case right now in that case doris id will become 1 but now in the second case you know when id modulus 2 is not equal to 0 right in that case when which, which essentially means the number is not even now in that case i need to do one check that the id should not be the max id as in uh, you know let's say id modulus 2 is not equal to 0 which is the satis which is a satisfied condition now i also need to make sure that this id is not the last id you know the last odd id right now in that case i don't need to exchange if this the id uh, you know if id modulus 2 is not equal to 0 that is that means that is an odd number you know and if that odd number is not the last number then in that case id will be id plus 1 so it looks very simple to me now let's go ahead and you know try try to write this case statement so basically i will write select case when id let me write modulus 2 is equal to equal to 0 then now when it is 0 then what i need as an output id minus 1 is what i need right and the other case is when id modulus 2 is not equal to 0 right when it is not equal to 0 it essentially means that it is a odd number right and I also need one more condition that this should not be the max ID, right? Now, in that case, I will simply write and, you know, uh, let me write a subquery here. It's not exactly a subquery, but select max ID, 
right now max id will be the last id from this table right select max id from seat right now this max id should not be equal to the id that we that this case statement is running for right then what i want then i want id should be id plus one right or else i will say id right now why this else id because this else id is in the case when you have uh, you know odd number of ids right so you have uh, you have the first condition for the even second condition you have for the odd but not the max id but in case if it is a max id then you just need id and then you you also need uh, then id you can simply say as end id comma you also need student column right so you will just write student from seat order by one so this is basically the statement and uh, you know it has to be in ascending order now let me just execute the statement so essentially it has given an error in Incor incorrect syntax near this okay so it should not be double equal to it is sql server let me just remove that and rerun the code now let's see what exactly is the output let me in fact submit it as well last time in my previous video i did not submit it in while making the video so you can see that uh, the output looks pretty fine and this is how you can solve this particular problem and do remember to you know do the same problem on your own as well just by watching this video you cannot you, you don't have to memorize it you actually need to do hands on your own hands on you need to open this link do your own hands on to actually you know be more efficient in this and thank you so much for being till here do remember to like subscribe and share my channel thank you so much